I first realized art was my passion probably in kindergarten, um, mostly um, because I was drawn to my art class or I was drawn to any creative project that we did. Um, I started taking woodworking in high school. I took a wood shop class and just remember the moment of being in my wood shop class and thinking, I, I love to do this. I've always loved art. I've always loved um, the home and I've always loved 3D building. So it was just kind of like made sense and kind of clicked. I've always been around furniture. I've always been going to antique stores with my mom or flea markets and we've always been finding furniture so at a young age I was always drawn to furniture or redoing my bedroom or you know like things like that moving furniture around like it's my life has revolved around furniture and spaces in the home. Um, well my mother is a interior designer so my whole life the home's been really important and um, the objects that she's put in the home and the environment that she's created so my memories of the home and furniture is are very vivid so I'm always thinking about my past when I'm thinking about what I'm making. The emotional like impact that my home has had on me um, or the structure that my mom created through making a really comfortable environment for me to grow up in um, I think that's so important so I feel like my work I'm trying to create that that comfort that I felt my mom created for me. I want to create an environment for you to like interact with so I would like if you're entering the space that my furniture's in I would like for a different feeling or I would like for you to s sort of you're in a different environment you're feeling different about the objects that you're surrounded by. Uh, I'm not only designing functional objects I want to be designing functional objects that are evoking emotion or you know creating a, a feeling so it's not only about function for me. But right now I'm really interested in chairs uh, mainly because I feel any piece of furniture you don't your body doesn't interact as much with any other piece of furniture but a chair a chair is supporting you and you know it's a give-and-take relationship with the chair so I feel like it's it's more of an intimate relationship than, a ta say, a table. I, I want to be making things for people and to help people or create feelings for people or comfort for people. I would like it for to be an escape um, or be a time where you can appreciate your surroundings and not necessarily be thinking about things going on in the world or things going on in your life. <laughs> I think I've always had um, a certain aesthetic or a certain drawn to certain material choices but through um, my aesthetic has definitely developed from freshman year till now um, but always I'm always thinking about simplifying things I'm always thinking about um, using more natural kind of muted colors so I think um, just through being at school and having different classes and we're kind of forced to start building our aesthetic and figuring out what our work looks like. Last year I had a very like muted uh, color palette. This year I'm bringing color back into my work. Um, I'm sort of like afraid of color a little bit. Um, so I've been slowly trying to bring it into my work but I use wood and the tones of wood um, and some neutral colors mostly. I mean I came in knowing I want to be a woodworker and took a woodworking class right away so it's very focused um, but I think that it's aesthetically it has devolved, uh, evolved and conceptually it has evolved a lot um, just through learning and t being exposed to more techniques and things that I had no idea you could do with wood. I think the day that I walked into the um, doors here. I knew that this was a perfect place for me. Um, I came into the fifth floor wood shop when we still had it and knew that that was the perfect environment um, to learn and really just grow. Um, so it's definitely just exposed me to new techniques, made me think of life totally differently. Not only my work but my life has completely changed and for the better because of Mecca.